Hey everyone, my name is Melissa and welcome back to another Langflow tutorial. Today is a fun video for those who are working with video content. Now, if you are doing semantic searches to your videos or wanting to do semantic searches to your videos, video to text generation, or identifying specific characteristics of your videos to then use that data for your applications and AI workflows, then you've definitely come to the right place. Today, I'll be showing you how to do all of those things in Langflow using 12 Labs components. Let's get started. First of all, I wanted to call out that this video is a sidecar to the 12 Labs blog post that was posted a few weeks ago. Um, if you check this out, it has everything that I'm going to talk about today and more. So definitely take a look at this after you watch this video. So let's go ahead and hop into Langflow. For those who aren't familiar, Langflow is a visual app development platform for developers who are building AI agents, MCP, or AI workflows. Um, so if you get started into our platform, you will see we have a bunch of templates if you press new flow. I want to level set and go into basic prompting just to understand what we're working with today from a text uh, standpoint to a video standpoint. So if I use our basic prompting template here, it defaults to OpenAI, but you can use any model that you would like to bring in. Um, it will take a text input. Um, I can give it my API key here, and then it'll return me some output based on my query. So if I tell my uh, open AI model here. Hello. It responds to me in text. If I ask it a question, um, what is the color of the sky? You know, something it'll take the knowledge that the model has been trained on and answer the question to the best of its ability. Um, so this is kind of like a text to text response with 12 labs. We are able to use the same kind of flow where I'm giving some query and I get an output, but now we are bringing in this video aspect to it. So let's hop into a 12 labs flow and see exactly what that looks like. So here I have a simple flow that's using 12 labs components. Um, to find these components, you can just go into our components navigation bar and type in 12 labs. We have a whole bundle here of different components for you to use. So this I would say would be a similar concept to what the basic prompting flow is, but this time we are using video. So I have a chat input that is now going into my 12 labs Pegasus model. And 12 labs has two different models that you can use. Um, Marengo, which is more for video comprehension and identifying um, objects, actions, and different things in videos. And 12 Labs Pegasus is for video to text generation. So something like what we're going to do right now. So I have this Pegasus model and then it's gonna give me an output based on the video data that I have given it. So I can upload any video file here um, and then I can ask a question about the video and then it'll return me a text response. All right, so I'm gonna be uploading this short video. This person's holding a camera in their hands. They have some cameras on the side. So let me bring that video here to Langflow. And I can drag and drop that file. And then I'm going to hop into my playground and I can ask a question about the video that I've just uploaded. So I can say, describe to me what is happening in this video. And now we've got the response. It says, in this video, a person's wearing beige. They're holding a silver camera. The setting is outdoors. Um, and if we remember what the video looked like, here it is. They are handling the camera. They do have a beige outfit. The video model is able to understand the video content really well. And you see we're able to kind of create and build that flow here in Langflow. It's really um, an accessible way to kind of get closer to these models that are able to perform these tasks for you. Um, but this is just a very simple, basic prompting example, right? What if I wanted to take it a step further and be able to store different images, uh, different videos somewhere and then query from that kind of database of videos? Then let's see what that looks like. Okay, so in that past flow, we were showing how to do a basic upload that goes directly to a model and then we ask a question to it, it gives us an output. What if I want to start storing videos, embed them into some database and then do queries upon different videos that I've stored? Um, we are revisiting the video file upload component, which we are going to need if we are going to upload videos. Um, we use this 12 labs Pegasus index component and we use the 12 labs video embedding. So again, this is using the Marengo model, which is then I using it to identify the different features 
of the video um, and then translating that into a vector embedding and then storing that into a vector database, in this case, AstroDB. So if I want to go ahead and upload that same video that I just was querying earlier and run this component, the video gets sent to the Pegasus model once again, and then it uses the Marengo retrieval text embeddings to convert that into embeddings and then store it into AstroDB. Okay, great. So now that the video has been ingested, we see that it's gone to our Astro database. If you're using another vector database in place here, you can definitely use that, just drag in that component. But in this case, we're using AstroDB and we see we have several different records that we've ingested, including the one that we just did as well. So now I can perform a kind of rag retrieval um, query with this, uh, with, all, with AstroDB as well as the 12 apps component. So let's see what that looks like. All right, finally, here is the RAG retrieval, video retrieval flow using the 12 Labs components and AstroDB. So you might notice that the components are all pretty much the same, but in this case, since we're doing a retrieval, we are using the chat input as a search query instead of ingesting the data from the chat input. Um, and then we are also using the Pegasus model once again to process the video and then give us the text response that we want in the end. Um, one more thing that I want to call out that you might notice is that there's also a 12 labs component that helps convert the response of the AstroDB uh, search query to a format in which Pegasus will, will receive and then perform the rest of its comprehension. So for example, if I would like to do a query and say, what is the video where the person is holding a camera about? And here it's giving us a response. The video appears to be a demonstration or a view of a silver film camera. The individual is shown adjusting the camera settings, etc. cetera. Um, and you can see it actually was a bit faster now that I have this um, RAG mechanism in place using a database than doing it directly to the prompting model. Now I can ask more questions. I have other videos in, in my database. Um, are there any videos about flowers? And just for reference, I have this video stored into my database as well. Yes, the video showcases red poppies in a natural setting, which is a common subject um, for videos focusing on flowers, nature, and gardening. Okay, let's do one more. I'm going to say, are there any videos about animals? So it says, yes, there are videos about animals. Uh, there's a video that features a person gently holding a gray rabbit, which is correct. It's responding, it's referring to this video right here. So wow, this is super cool that we're able to use text to query the videos that we have in a database, to even use a video and get that uh, converted into text in such a simple way, in a simple flow. And you're doing that all using Lanklow's visual uh, interface, as well as the components that are already built in from the 12 Labs team. Um, you're able to also then publish and export this flow and bring these into your applications. So if you're doing some type of video analysis, video interpretation um, in your applications, then you can definitely build that part here in Langflow using all of these tools, using the 12 Labs components, and then use that flow in the application that you're building. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like and a comment down below. And if you are not already, connect with us in our Langflow Discord. You can chat there, you can share your ideas, you can continue the conversation with us there. And as always, happy coding and happy videoing. Thank you.